All right, guys, um, I wanted to do a quick tutorial um, about how to get Ortho 4 XP working with X-Plane 11. Um, I had a lot of trouble getting it to work. Um, I watched quite a few t tutorials, but um, I encountered some problem with each one. Um, and basically, I just learnt to use this myself through trial and error. So to save anyone else that time who's bought X-Plane 11 and wants really great scenery, this video is to help you. Okay, so step number one is to obviously download Ortho 4 XP, um, install it. I'll put the links in the description to everything that I use. Um, install that. The next thing you want to do is um, install a program called Python that works in Unity with uh, Ortho 4 XP. Uh, both really quick simple installs, won't take many minutes to do hopefully for you. Um, okay, this tutorial is uh, assuming that you want to use a HD mesh uh, with your scenery. I'll also show you how to um, not use a mesh and just put the scenery on the default uh, mesh. Um, but okay, first choose where you want to uh, where you want to create a scenery for. So I'm going to be doing Natal Island, uh, which is this whole tile here. So you want to click on whatever tile you want to do. Obviously, it'd be different to mine. I use the Aerosoft.com. Uh, website because it's uh, just much quicker than all the others. It, we'll see how fast it is. <laughs> the others take about four hours, so we we'll just click on that, download it. Yeah, that's going to take a while, is it? Twenty-seven seconds. See, compared to the other website, it's a lot faster. Um, okay, while that's downloading, you want to create um, this folder. Um, which is called ZZZ underscore HD underscore global underscore scenery 4. That has to be typed exactly as it is there. I'll put um, the text in the description so you can uh, copy and paste that. But um, just down here in the installation uh, instructions, it will give you that there anyway. Okay, so that's downloaded. We've created our folder here. We open up this folder, we go into Earth Nav Data. Now you can see I've already got some uh, tiles in there that I've already done, but yours will be empty. Um, take your downloaded folder, drop it into the Earth Nav Data folder. And I've already done this, so I'll just replace it. I'll be fine, hopefully. <laughs> Close that out. Okay, once that's popped into there, just close it down. The next thing you want to do is create a new folder and you want to name it ZZZ. That's really important. This is so that it comes at the very bottom of the scenery packs INI file and that it's not um, overlaid too high up the levels of the scenery. Um, okay, so ZZZ underscore, that's really important. Then just name it whatever you whatever the place is called I so it's I did Nassau so if you're doing London obviously you'll just call it London or whatever area I, I tend not to use uh, caps at all I don't know why it's just you know one of those OCD things um, okay that's really simple okay so the next step is to open up Ortho 4 XP you go into the Ortho 4 XP folder go into bin and come down to the exe and run that as administrator okay next step you want to click on custom build up here and then you basically select your folder um which mine was nassau so select that folder select that's where everything will be compiled in once all this is uh all this is done when it's done doing <clears throat> if that makes sense i choose base source bi c source bi base zoom base zoom level 17 for both of them um any higher than 17 and you're going to be looking at really long download speeds downloads and really long um really pig files so uh 
I choose 17 if you got a massive loads of storage space and and time then you know choose a higher one but I find that does it well for me uh, the next thing you want to click on down here on build tile is complex masks and change mask width to 100 100 okay the next step is to click on custom overlay and uh, your custom overlay will be the mesh um, that you downloaded so you want to go to the mesh folder and then don't go any further than that you click select folder that's all you need to do okay the next step is to click on earth tile map and select the areas uh, we did um, Nassau so we want to go over to Nassau and you want to select the tiles uh, containing that area so you press shift and click over the area you can see that that's done a bit of that island and a bit of that island so just select that much you can select as much as you want here so just try and go with the uh, the area that's in the mesh and not anywhere else um, then you want to click on build masks build overlays batch build and it's as simple as that go over into the other window and you can see that it is um, now building your tiles depending on um, how big of how many tiles you've selected this can take anywhere from 15 minutes to like four or five hours um, this isn't a lot of scenery so it shouldn't take that long um, so it's already starting the uh, the masks um, okay I'll come back when this is all finished um, one way to check that everything's going okay is just to come over into this uh, command window and you can see that everything is okay it's doing what it's doing okay so I'll come back when this is done and show you the next part okay and when that's finished it will say completed at the very bottom uh, that took not too long probably about 15 minutes uh, two tiles 15 minutes uh, okay right close that down the next step you will see that in your folder here now you have all these files um, also you'll have this is very important uh, this overlays folder now if this is the first time you're using ortho 4 xp scenery um, then you will have this folder you want to drag and drop it into your uh, xplane 11 custom scenery folder i've already done that so it will be in here somewhere uh, there it is um, any other time that you uh, after this first time every time after this you don't have to drag the whole folder over you can just go into the folder go into earth nav data and select the select the overlay folders so you take those sorry just to make this a bit easier go into ortho 4xb overlays there you go those are all the ones that i've already done previously drop these over into there and that's that part sorted then you come back over into your custom scenery folder we close that down and we just drag and drop our whole Nassau folder into custom scenery okay we'll leave that open for now the next step is really important okay and uh, this is what this is what every tutorial I watched forgot to mention and it is like it's the absolute most important step to see your scenery in the game okay so start X plane 11 what you want to do is start it up and close it straight down also very important go back into your custom scenery scenery folder and open up scenery packs configuration file now you'll see that the the area you just uh, made is at the very top you want to copy delete and paste it right down at the very bottom delete that gap that's and also you want to make sure that let me just find it where is it global airports um, you want to make sure that your overlays line here 
is above global airport and that's all you need to do so save that close it down close all our folders down now on our browser go back into xplane you want to go on new flight um let's just turn that on for a second um nassau that's where we want to go M Y N N. um i'm just going to put us on a uh a gate here somewhere i'll do gate a5 okay it's daytime so we can see start a flight and hopefully we should be seeing our new scenery in there when this is started up and here we go load properly there we go all right let's have a look at the scenery let's see if it's worked we're going to camera go up and we can see first first off the sea looks absolutely amazing uh, we can see there that it has in fact put down our scenery everything as is as it should be um, and that's that wow it really does look amazing um, so hopefully that's worked for you um, if it hasn't let me know in the comments and I think that should be just about that okay thanks guys bye bye